Hey guys, so it is literally like 3 a.m. right now and I am very, very tired. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't go to sleep because I was, uh, I was kept up by my thoughts. Um, so for the past few hours, I've just been basically laying in my bed, just bawling my eyes out over what seems to be the dumbest reasons, you know, uh, the, I guess the general reasons people usually cry at night, you know, they have no friends, they're, oh, sorry, that's my cat. They have no friends, they have no life, they hate everything, they hate their life, their family sucks, their friends suck, they feel alone, you know, all those different reasons. Um, sorry about the echo in here. Yeah, so I could go to sleep. I very tired, like I said. But um I was just thinking about how right now No <laughs> Look at my baby. Anyway, I was thinking about how lately I've kind of just been surviving um, as opposed to thriving in my life and how everything that I have been doing lately has either just not worked out um, or just blown up in my face or I don't know. Have you guys ever tried to do something and you're really excited about it, like say an art project or something, and you're really excited about it and you know you get really invested in it and you spend all this time and money on it and in the very end it turns out like shit? <laughs> That's how I feel like a lot of my self-improvement work has been going because I'm not seeing any kind of results. Um, after months of trying to, you know, uh, fix my skin, it's gotten worse. You probably can't see it on video. It's, it's kind of difficult to see, but it's gotten so much worse and I've been trying so hard to fix it. And it's, it's so stressful because your skin, your face is what people see and what you see when you look in the mirror. Like the first thing you see is your face. It's what people judge you on is your face. So when your face is, you know, red and itchy and, you know, it's flaky and it's gross looking, you feel like shit. You don't feel attractive. You feel bad. So, yeah, I, d I don't know what to do about it. I mean, it's just like, I know that medication takes a while to work, but it's almost like it's getting worse to where it's spreading to my eyelids. I didn't even realize that could happen. And um, it's also spread to inside my nose. Inside my nose. So, yeah. And um, the things that I was basically in bed crying about <laughs> were just, you know, generally being ugly. The fact that I, <laughs> it sounds so silly talking about it, but the fact that I am, you know, that I, this is the, I don't, The fact that this is like the most attractive and the most and the youngest that I will ever be, yet I am literally wasting away. I'm wasting.
wasting the the best years of my life being ugly and I feel like I don't know I just feel like I have not even gotten the chance to live as a young adult because of the way that I look right now and I don't know if any of you feel the same way but that's exactly how I feel I just I literally don't even care anymore I I'm not gonna lie, I haven't taken a shower in like three days. Like, I don't care. I genuinely do not care anymore because things have just been going so wrong lately. And on top of that, I have like family stuff going on that has been really hard on me as well. So, <laughs> so it's like, I just feel like I have all these stupid problems they come up out of nowhere and then I have no support. I have no real friends. I have no family that gives a single shit. You know, like, I don't know if any of you have family that actually care about your issues, but I sadly do not have that. I sadly do not have a supportive family. That's super unfortunate, but that's just how it is. And, you know, when you don't have friends that care and you don't have family that cares, it can be so isolating because all you all you have is yourself and you're the only one who can pick yourself up and basically you have to be your own shoulder to cry on the thing is i am already unstable so how am i going to support myself when i i can't i've never been able to so me thinking that i could just suddenly pull myself out of this rut that i've been in for so long is just ridiculous because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen when I'm so sick. Like I'm very sick right now. <laughs> like not just like physically sick, like mentally. I'm very in a, um, in a very dark place <laughs> right now. And earlier when I was in bed, and I was crying, all I could think about was how I'm literally just sitting there rotting and if I like, if I um were to just, you know, not exist, it wouldn't really Sorry, it wouldn't really make a difference to me or really to anyone else. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, not existing, no, that would probably, um, solve like a lot of my problems. <laughs> and honestly, I, I thought about it and I was like, I don't really know if I have anything here that's keeping me here aside from my cat. <laughs> my cat is like, sorry, this is really stupid, but the only thing that I really care about is my cat, my cats. I have multiple cats. And lately, the reason that I haven't really been posting a lot, I don't know, I don't know if I said anything about it on YouTube, I posted it on my Instagram, but I've been taking care of um, a litter of kittens and um, the mother cat, and that has been the sole reason that I get up every single morning, it's because of those kittens, that's the only thing I care about, the only thing I care about, aside from just my cat just my cats that's what i care about my cat wants in here let's see i'll let her in see if she tries to jump in the way what are you doing come on you gonna get in here i don't know what her problem is hey she doesn't want to come in here she's probably concerned as to why i'm talking to myself in the bathroom Anyway, 
yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing so well today. So this isn't exactly a positive video. It's pretty dark, I guess. <laughs> Cause I really, like I said earlier, I don't, lately I've just not really cared like what's happened to me, you know? I've not really been taking care of myself like I should. And um, it's like, I feel like, why should I even try when my body is <laughs> destroying itself on its own? So, I know, that's, that's such a terrible way to think about yourself, but I just feel like, you know, I treat myself like garbage, my body treats itself like garbage, people treat me like garbage, <laughs> it's all the same. I don't know, I, when people treat you like garbage, you treat yourself like garbage, so. I don't know. I don't really know what else to talk about because this is already kind of a long video and I haven't even really talked about anything just about, you know, some things that I've been experiencing lately. Um, I'll probably end it here and actually do a more organized video in the near future, but for right now this is just how I'm feeling and what I've been dealing with lately. Sorry it's so random and so unorganized, but you know, that's my life anyway and don't know what people expect from someone like me. <laughs>